Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. It might look weird that like my hair is like wavy cr straight over here and really curly over here because right now it is Halloween. I am starting to do my um, outfit idea. Oh, my outfit. Hard to get ready for my costume. Um, so one of the things that I do is I curl my hair for my costume that I am being and that's why half my hair is curled and the other half is not um but in the back it's starting this is all i have left to curl it but after that i'm going to do my makeup and then i have to vacuum because we're having a halloween party and then i'll tell you guys what we are being today we are having a halloween party we have about 20 people coming over so yesterday the boys sent up the yard they decorated and now we have to put some more tables outside vacuum and then we'll, my mom's picking up the pizza. I have to make some Chinese donuts. So that's what we have to do today. If you want to know what I'm being, what my mom's being, what Kyle's being, what Kevin's being, and the other people in our Halloween party, then just keep watching till the end. So the first thing right now I'm going to do is finish curling my hair. Not going to be a tutorial on how I did my hair, but I just took this wand that I stole from my grandma from Florida. It is the... Uh, Hairline of Tro Professional. I really like it. It's it looks like this and it's really hot right now. And then I just take a little section and curl it around with 30 seconds and I am done. So that's what I'm gonna be finishing right now and then I'll do my makeup. you guys when I'm done curling my hair and that's really it and then I'm going to start my makeup so if you want to know what I am being um I'm telling you guys at the end once everyone gets here we're gonna have a montage of all our costumes but it's pretty self pretty self explanatory I think all I'm doing is taking my curling iron taking some hair rolling around waiting 30 seconds and I'm done so I'll see you guys when my whole entire head is done I just finished my hair. I really like it. It looks good. You just need the bag is like eh if you want me, but I really like it. Looks good. I'm really happy how it turned out to be. So now I'm going to do my makeup. So I would you, I have done this style a couple of times, like not my makeup, but how I wear my hair so it doesn't go into my face. But I was wearing a headband, but my headband a little secret had something that I wear on top of my head and I don't want to give it away so I have to go find something else to put my hair in so my curls do not go into my face so while I'm finding that leave in the comments down below what do you think our family's gonna be so what do you think I'm gonna be what do you think Kyle's gonna be what do you think Kevin's gonna be and what do you think my mom's gonna be leave in the comments down below and if any of you guys get it correct um, I will be giving it a thumbs up and I'll be hearting it. All right, now let me go find something so I can put this hair out of my face. So I found this red headband. It's gonna work for right now. My face is pushed back and my hair was on my chest. I have very sensitive skin. So uh, now my chest is red. My face is red too, I don't know why. And I'm used to it, but that's not good. So I am not a makeup artist. I am not a makeup geek. I have no idea what the heck I am ever doing. All I know is I washed my brushes before I did this, <laughs> and that's it. Um, so, the first thing I'm putting on my face is this, I don't know what it is. My mom used to sell it, and I just took it from her, and it's not focusing. Focus. Well, it's just like makeup primer base, I guess you can call it. And I'm just going to squirt two pumps on my hand, like so. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender that I don't want to wash right now. And I'm going to take it. And I got this from the Dollar Store's beauty blender. So good. And I'm just going to put some on my face. And then I'm going to pat it in. Right 
now I got, I have no idea where the heck I ever got this. I took it from my mom. I have this Healthy Skin Glow Sheer Neutrogenia SPF 30. And I just put two little squirts on my hand. And I'm going to do the same thing as what I did for my primer. I have no idea if you're even supposed to do this, but this is what I do. I'm done. I just like to take this foundation brush and just make sure I got everything in. Oh, it's blended so it doesn't look like it's all in one section. Probably not even doing it correctly, but this is what I do. And I don't have concealer, so these. I just got are not going away but you don't really get to see because my hair will be covering it but next I take this blush mineral correcting powder and I just take this and I just put it onto um there's a brush that comes with it a rainbow brush like this but I don't use it I use one of these brushes that I have I just take it, pout it, and I have my hair connected to it. What are you looking for, Kevin? And I take this and I just go around. Kevin, what are you looking for? Why? Okay. I am done that's my whole face now I'm gonna go on I don't do my eyebrows just one I don't have one and two I will probably suck at it but now I'm going to do and I'm going to try my eye, my eyeshadow and I got this palette from the dollar store yes it's a good palette I like it because I want like I wanted the neutral tones and yes my brothers have played with this and so has my friends and they made a disaster out of it yeah, first day I got in a disaster. But we're gonna make it work. And I have this brush. My mom did my makeup one time, my eyeshadow. I never washed it. I take this e.l.f. brush. It says it's an eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna take this one above here, right here. I'm just gonna put it, and also I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. I'm gonna put it. On the outside. Now I'm going to take this shade, a little bit darker, pinker one, and I'm going to put it in. And now I'm going to take a lighter shade. I'm going to take that shade and I'm going to put it right in like the little part that I did not do. This eye doesn't like to stay closed so I have to hold it. And bring it up. 
Go to the house, take the trap book. That's what it looked came out to be like. I honestly think it's better than what I ever done. I think it turned out good. And then in the corner, I have got this glitter from the dollar store again. Yes, I've known people have taken it. And I found this brush. It's called the MAC 266. And I'm going to take the point of it. I'm going to put it into my little corner. I don't think the glitter likes me. There we go. Alright. And I'm going to do the same for the other eye. And we're done. Now I'm just going to take my mascara that isn't in here. I ran out the door for the last time I was doing my makeup. And I put it on my dresser. This is the MAC Pro Lash. I have no idea how old it is. Nothing. I just know that mom had it and I took it. And eyes are done. I think they turned out really good. Now it's time for my lips. This is going to be in what color am I picking? I really like my eyeshadow. I'm probably going to say this a lot, but I really like it. I'm just going to smooth this out. Oh, and the last, I forgot about this, but I usually take like the lighter shade or a white and I put it underneath my eyes with this. It is the Wet n Wild brush. I'm going to put the lighter shade that I use underneath it. I make really weird faces when I try to do my eyes. And that's the actual finished product. That's what it looks like. I think it turned out pretty good. Now it's the lips. I like to put chapstick on before I do my lips. Um, so my chapstick today is going to be the CarMax. I have some colors. I don't know what I'm going to pick yet. I have all these different colors. I have like pink, a red, a nude, a gloss, another like brighter. Look at all these colors I have. Yeah, I have a lot. They're all from Torrid. Most of them are from Torrid. These two my mom got from work. Also, my outfit is from Torrid. My shirt. This from Torrid, I love their store, and there goes all my lipstick in the sink. It's skeletons with roses. My, oh, as can you can see, my leggings are from Torrid, and my shoes. Hold on, we'll do it. Go to two D. Shirt from Torrid. Yes, that's my bathroom. I really like this shirt. Then we have my leggings from Torrid and my shoes from DSW and that is what I wore to school also my undershirt is glittery it is from Kohl's it's from the Jennifer Lopez collection now I'm going to pick up all my lipsticks and I think I'm going to do this nude one I wear this often my mom my mom does and I do It's a lip crayon, by the way. Where are my napkins? 
my tissue. I probably shouldn't even have put lipstick on because I'm going to be eating pizza. But this is my final look of my face. Ounce. My hair. I really like how it turned out. Pushed my eyeshadow. And now I'm going to have to go vacuum before our guests come over and make some Chinese donuts. So if you want to see how I make Chinese donuts, then keep watching and you'll see how to make easy Chinese donuts that so you don't have to eat. You don't have to go to the Chinese restaurant to eat the Chinese donuts. Pretty simple and easy, but stay tuned so you can see what I'm doing right after. Okay, you're in my clip shot. So I was opening two of the Stop and Shop brands that we have. I found one that um, exploded in my refrigerator. And the other one, um, yeah, two, both of them exploded in my face, so that's just very fun. But right now, I'm just gonna open it and then I don't, I'm so scared about this now. How you do? Here we go. Right now, I'm just gonna. Right here. What? What happened to this one? Oh. No, put that back in the refrigerator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only need seven. That's why. And then I'm just gonna cut it right in half. Then it would work a lot better, but you know, I didn't do that. And then you're just gonna leave them onto the side and then pour them into the oil. Now, once the oil is done, you're going to keep flipping them till they turn golden brown and then take them out of the oil and roll them in sugar. Now we have tried with powdered sugar. It doesn't really taste like anything and it makes you gag because the sugar goes down your throat. So I recommend do not use powdered sugar. Also, if you do not cut them, you'll have giant ones, but we like the mini ones. They're the same, just reduce, and you can make a lot more. Now, once I'm done cutting this one, I'm going to put them into the oil, turn them, put them in sugar, and put them into the pan. You also do need a pan to put them in. Um, warning, please do not do this without your parents' permission or parents' supervision. Just because you're on a hot stove and oil, which can burn you and bubble on top of you. Once you are done taking them out, rolling them in sugar, you'll need a pan to put them in. You would need a big enough pan to put them in because, let's say, like right now, I'm making 70 of these. You know, I'm making 140, 140 of these because we're putting them down and I have 70. Yes, Michaela, do your math. You're in eighth grade. You can do this. You need a pan and they're going to get pretty big. So get a big enough size pan for them and then you'll be done. Once I'm done, I'm going to throw these out just to have some space. And now I'm going to put them into the oil. I'm going to put the stove on high now. And I'm going to take a little piece off, drop it in, and if it fizzes, that means the oil is ready. Right now, the oil is not ready, so I have to wait. Sorry if you can't really see me and you only see like half of me because our window is open to see if there's going to be have any chicken cheaters. But right now, I am making Chinese donuts. So the first thing you'll need is actually a pot to put onto the stove. And then once you are, you would put pour some oil in. I poured about, I don't know. I pour enough where like you can cover the dough. And what you will be need for this recipe is that you... Move on, come on, stop staying in my house. Thank you. What you need for this is that you'll need buttermilk biscuits from Best Market. We have some from Stop and Shop. Anywhere, buttermilk biscuits. And what we'll do is we're going to cut them in half and then we are going to stick them into the oil, let them turn golden brown, take them into sugar, roll them, and put them in the container. And that's all we are doing. So right now I have to go get the container and the sugar and then I'll start um, opening them and cutting them. My Chinese donuts, the oil has um, boiled now and I'm able to put them in. 
So this is what they look like. And once they get golden brown, I'll be able to turn them onto the other side, take them out, and roll them into the sugar that I have. Um, please be aware that the oil does get very hot, and the stove is hot. You also need a spoon so you can take them out because I don't think you people are that stupid and want to use your hands because it's very hot. As you can see right here, it, they're golden brown, so all I'm doing is flipping them. I have it on high just because I need to make a lot, but you can also put them on low, but I don't think it'll turn that much. This is what they look like right now. Also, um, when you do rolling the fingers, your fingers do get full of sugar, and it's very, very hot. So I wear it if you don't want to burn your hands, have your parents do it, or if you're okay, you can do it too. Also, they're almost done, so I'm going to take them out and roll them. But I'm not going to show you me rolling them right now because I need to get them out. Can you give me a second? If you want to, you can use the spoon that has the holes on it so the oil doesn't um go in into my sugar you can also do more than one if you have a big enough bowl but i do not and i need to get them out yes i sound like a broken record Woo! i think i'm going to switch over This one still needs more. This one can come out. So now I'm just going to roll them and I'm going to switch my spoon. Hi, I wasn't an angel. Hello. No, thank you. The white costume, the white bow. And I was an angel. David, what were you? Say hi, David. What were you, David? He was, SEAL team. Yes. But a couple of SEAL teams. Finn, what were you? A uh, uh, special you ops. You had a Marine gun. Special He's a bush. No, Hi. special ops. You're special quiet. ops. Is right. not, is Kyle was a wolf shark. Not. Kevin was a police officer, as always. And my mom was goofy. Yes, I did not vlog when we were trick-or-treating because we had, like, 18 people with us. But my 14. mom did 14. Well, including us, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 14 is counted, you. No, it's not. 15 people, then. 14! It was 15. It took me to my mom. And, um, Sarah Kelly, if you don't know her, she was the devil. She was the opposite of me. Sarah Otto was a uh, Cheryl Blossom from Riverdale. And other, the other people were, like, in a group of, like, um, with Kevin and Kyle. And right now, oh, yep, yeah, I'm outside. Looking. Oh, and Michael was a, um... Another SEAL team member. They're with the boys. Alright. So I am going to end the video here, but I'm you also just going. Started it. No, I started a long time ago. I'm going to end the video here. I am going to show you guys. I'm going to show some pictures in the next couple of clips of us walking and getting some Halloween candy. And um, I'll show you guys my mom. But that is later in this video. That is after this, but I want to say, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment subscribe, down below. I want money. No, I don't. I want money. Well, you're not getting it. Turn on the post notification bell on, and I'll see you guys in subscribe our next video. To my channel. And also, happy Halloween. Bye, guys.